Um, hi, AJ. How are you? Um, you were talking about the fears coming up in our body, mm -hmm. and I, I saw you last weekend, and you said you were going to talk about fears. And um, phys like, is it, does it come up physically as well? Because I got the like the next day, I had this um, covered in heat rash. Yep. All over my face and my neck. Yep. And then I, I laid in bed and I thought, oh, I've got to process this, whatever. Yep. <laughs> and then the next two days, or the day and a half after that, I got absolutely bitten alive on the legs yep. Yep. with extreme pain and I couldn't sleep last night. Would that be the same? Well, rashes and bites are the result generally of suppressed anger rather than suppressed fear. But remember from our discussion, we can see that the anger is suppressing the fear, which is suppressing the grief. So. So the key is to look at uh, what you're feeling in terms of your anger-based emotions and, and then look underneath the anger-based emotions into the fear. Yes. And both of you have actually had, in the last week, quite a few fear-based reactions, which has been really good for you, actually. Yes. Um, so uh, the key is to allow those to continue. Yes. The, uh, uh, when you bodily experience your fear, you may even do things like vomit and all sorts of things, right? Yes. So um, it gets pretty intense sometimes dealing with fear. And the key is to be prepared for that. So, so it's no good having a nice carpeted area in your home with, with no bucket there if you're going to deal with fear, right? Because <laughs> you will need your bucket at some point, I can guarantee you. And so in my case, I've found uh, I've gone through sort of feelings of often if I've had a huge amount of fear, uh, what will happen is I'll have this feeling this feeling's building up of blocked, blocked feelings. I'm blocked, I'm blocked. And many of you have that feeling, I'm blocked, I'm blocked. And then all of a sudden I'll have this breakthrough into the fear. And in one case I was really blocked up about uh, emotions about women and how damaging my relationships in the first century with uh, one woman, what, it wasn't really a relationship, it was just a friendship, but how the, that friendship was damaging to me quite a lot. And, and then um, once I worked my way in terms of working my way through the fear, I finished up vomiting for two days before I actually got into the underlying grief. So that's how much resistance I had to the fear itself. And I can feel the emotions I'm dealing with now is probably going to end up in the same little um, process as well. So the key is just to allow these processes to occur in yourself. And uh, often we have a lot of uh, mechanisms to suppress and once we start getting through them, we really feel these deep agitations and feelings uh, inside of us and then there's an interaction that occurs with us bodily and often we do need to express those things physically as well and our body will react. So I've had very few releases of fear where my body hasn't reacted. So we need to be very, very uh, conscious that our body is probably going to react when we start dealing with our fear-based experiences. Um, now, for many of you, there's a fear in that, isn't there? Like being afraid of what the fear <laughs> is going to do when you experience it. And, um, and this gets back to that, uh, one of those beliefs that I wrote up on the board that I cannot cope with that. Many of us have this belief that I cannot cope with that. The truth is you can cope with this. You can cope with your emotional processing work. You can cope with any experience you will be able to do it. Right? And part of the, that though is to feel, the, the way to get to that point is to actually feel the opposite emotion, which is I'm never going to be able to do this. You know, go into the fear that I'm not going to be able to cope. Actually feel the fear of not coping and feel the fear that you, you're going to be overwhelmed and you don't know what you're going to do about that. Now, tomorrow you're going to have to be quite brave uh, to face some of the, um, if I get the chance to show you some video snippets, you're going to be, need to be quite brave to look at some of them because uh, some of them are quite confronting. And so um, my suggestion is if you're still a bit worried about dealing with your fears and you're not sure whether you want to go ahead with that, then my suggestion is uh, you might want to avoid tomorrow. <laughs> not that I'm recommending you avoid your fears. <laughs> but... Uh, Come tomorrow prepared, if you like, to get uh, to connect with some of these fears. Now, just to give you a bit of a rundown about tomorrow, tomorrow will be connecting with fears about a whole set of different issues, ranging from fears about world change events right the way through to war and, uh, and other emotions like that. Also, 
right the way through into religious fears as well, which many of you had from your childhood uh, that have been impressed upon you and not released. So if you can allow these things to occur and allow these fears to be triggered, and what I'll try to do tomorrow is give you as much ammunition as possible to actually face a lot of those fears. I can't bring a bucket for you. You have to bring your own buckets um, if, you, if you're worried about your buckets. Uh, and the, the issues with regard to often bodily reactions is we're so afraid of body reactions. We're often so concerned and afraid for them. And so the, the thing is to start allowing yourself to have your body reactions. Start allowing yourself to feel what your body feels. And that's a very, very important part of the process.